London is one of the world's most mesmerizing cities. Modern architectural marvels like the Shard Line medieval laneways, peppered with historic monuments, high-end shops, and award-winning theaters. Picturesque streets and avenues connect renowned attractions like Buckingham Palace, Westminster Abbey, and St. Paul's Cathedral, causing visitors to gape at their beauty and exhaust their phone's photo storage. With so many impressive tourist attractions and captivating things to do, it's no wonder London is one of the most popular places to visit in the world, attracting over 20 million tourists each year. Britain's bustling capital offers something for everyone, including shopaholics, foodies, adventurists, historians, and kids, making it tough to choose what to do first. Should you hit one of the top museums, many of which are free to enter, or enjoy a picnic in one of the city's expansive parks, maybe tour a royal palace or wander around a breathtaking garden, perhaps you'd prefer to take in a show, enjoy a horseback ride, see the city views from atop the London Eye, or enjoy a traditional afternoon tea in Harrods, the world's poshest department store. Now we show you top attractions some of the best places in London. Before starting video, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon. Number 1. Tower Bridge. Located adjacent the Tower of London, Tower Bridge features two huge towers rising 200 feet above the River Thames. This is one of London's best-known and most photographed landmarks. While fascinating behind-the-scenes tours are available, you can easily walk across the bridge from the Tower of London. For the best tower views as well as a glimpse of HMS Belfast and London Bridge, which many mistakenly believe Tower Bridge to be, find a spot midway across. While it can be crowded, especially around sunset, an early morning arrival before the throngs of tourists get there is well worth the effort. Afterwards, head over to the renovated Butler's Wharf District on the bridge's south end for a unique twist on the classic full English breakfast at Watch House Tower Bridge. This now ritzy area is fun to wander and is home to a funky selection of restaurants, luxury housing, and shops. Number 2. London Eye. Built to mark London's Millennium Celebrations in 2000, the London Eye is one of the world's largest observation wheels. Its individual glass capsules offer the most spectacular views of the city as you embark on a circular tour rising 443 feet above the Thames. The journey lasts close to 30 minutes, often quicker than the time spent lining up for your turn. If you can, reserve your time in advance. Better still, skip the line completely with a London Eye, skip the line ticket. This advance ticket allows you to take a flight at any time on the day you plan to visit. If you can afford it, rent one of the private capsules and share the experience with friends and family. Number 3. Houses of Parliament Nothing screams London more emphatically than the 318-foot tower housing the giant clock and its resounding bell known as Big Ben. It's as iconic a landmark as Tower Bridge, and the tolling of Big Ben is known throughout the world as the time signal of the BBC. Below it, stretching along the Thames, are the Houses of Parliament. The seat of Britain's government for many centuries, it was also once the site of the Royal Westminster Palace occupied by William the Conqueror. The best view of the Parliament buildings can be had by crossing Westminster Bridge and looking back or turn left after crossing the bridge and walk along the path towards the Sea Life London Aquarium. A fun spot to take kids. Gather your crew along the wall for a perfect photo with Big Ben in the background. Number 4. Trafalgar Square Two of London's best-known tourist spots, Piccadilly Circus and Trafalgar Square, lie not far apart and mark the gateway to Soho, London's lively theatre and entertainment district. The walk from one to the other is truly enjoyable, lined with eclectic boutiques, tasty cafes, ice cream shops, and winding laneways evoking a bygone era when only horses and buggies traipsed through these historic streets. Trafalgar Square was built to commemorate Lord Horatio Nelson's victory over the French and Spanish fleets at Trafalgar in 1805. Nelson's Column, a 183-foot granite monument, overlooks the square's fountains and bronze reliefs, which were cast from French cannons. Admiralty Arch, Street Martin in the Fields, and the National Gallery surround the square. Number 5. Buckingham Palace. One of Britain's most iconic buildings, 
Buckingham Palace is also the scene of London's most popular display of pomp and ceremony, the changing of the guard. Drawing crowds at 11.30 a.m. most days regardless of the season, this colorful display of precision marching and music also takes place at Street James's Palace. One of the top free things to do in London, you can then follow the band along the mall as they march between sites. Buckingham Palace was built in 1837 and has been the London residence of the royal family since Queen Victoria's accession. If you're wondering whether the king is in, look at the flagpole atop the building. If the royal standard is flying day and night, he's at home. On special state occasions, he and members of the royal family may even emerge on the central balcony. Number 6. London Docklands The revitalized Docklands area of East London has been transformed into an international place of business and recreation, filled with some of London's smartest new restaurants and entertainment experiences. The revitalized Docklands area also includes Canary Wharf. This important financial and business hub offers a variety of fun things to do, including shopping and dining. The excellent Museum of London Docklands is the place to visit to learn more about the area. Located in a series of old Georgian warehouses on Canary Wharf, it brings to life the river, port, and its people from Roman times to the present through hands-on displays that are especially interesting for children. Number 7. Hyde Park. Covering 350 acres, Hyde Park is London's largest open space and has been a destination for sightseers since 1635. One of the park's highlights is the Serpentine, an 18th-century man-made lake popular for boating and swimming. Hyde Park is also where you'll find Speaker's Corner, a traditional forum for free speech, and heckling. Another Hyde Park landmark is Apsley House, former home of the first Duke of Wellington and purchased after his famous victory at Waterloo. Now a museum, it houses Wellington's magnificent collections of paintings, including Velasquez's The Water Cellar of Seville, along with gifts presented by grateful European kings and emperors. England's greatest hero is also commemorated at the Wellington Arch. Number 8. Street Paul's Cathedral The largest and most famous of London's many churches, and undoubtedly one of the most spectacular cathedrals in the world, Street Paul's Cathedral sits atop the site of a Roman temple. The previous church structure was destroyed in the Great Fire of 1666, and Sir Christopher Wren designed the rebuild. Today, the twin Baroque towers and magnificent 365-foot dome of Street Paul's are a masterpiece of English architecture. If you're up to it, be sure to walk the stairs with their spectacular views of the dome's interior, including the Whispering Gallery, undoubtedly one of the top things to do in London. Number 9. Greenwich for centuries the hub of Britain's naval power, Greenwich is best known to tourists as the home of the Cuddy Sark, the last of the 19th-century tea clippers to sail between Britain and China. The ship is located adjacent to the Discover Greenwich Visitor Center, with its exhibits showcasing more than 500 years of maritime history and the Palladian mansion known as Queen's House. The impressive collections of the National Maritime Museum, the largest of its kind in the world, illustrate the history of the Royal Navy. And one of the most unusual things to do in London is standing with one foot in each hemisphere, astride the Meridian Line in the Meridian Building in the Royal Observatory. Number 10. Kew Gardens. Spending at day at Kew Gardens is one of the best things to do in London. A UNESCO heritage site, this phenomenal spot is home to over 50,000 living plants and some of the most majestically manicured gardens in England. Officially called the Royal Botanic Gardens, Kew is situated in southwest London on the south bank of the Thames and offers visitors a serene escape from the hustle and bustle of central London and a welcome breath of fresh air. Located on a flight path, you'll spot multiple jumbo jets, but these add to the allure for little ones. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share.